Hi. Let's learn about the equivalent annual cost, EAC. The equivalent annual cost is the annual cost of owning, operating, and maintaining an asset over its entire life. Companies use EAC for capital budgeting decisions, especially when comparing the cost effectiveness of various assets with unequal lifespans. EAC is used for capital budgeting and is most commonly used to analyze two or more possible projects with different lifespans. Other uses include determining optimal asset life, comparing leasing versus purchasing options, assessing maintenance costs, and evaluating the necessary cost savings for acquiring new assets. The EAC calculation involves a discount rate or the cost of capital. The cost of capital includes the cost of debt and equity, and is the required return to make a capital budgeting project worthwhile. The EAC formula is, EAC equals forward slash, 1, 1 plus discount rate, caret, n, where n is the number of periods. To illustrate the use of EAC, consider two alternative investments in machinery equipment, machine A and machine B. By calculating the EAC of each machine, a manager can determine the most cost-effective option, taking into account the cost of capital and the annuity factor. While EAC is the annual cost of owning an asset over its entire life, the whole life cost is the total expense of owning the asset from purchase to disposal. Whole life cost includes purchase and installation, design and building costs, operating costs, maintenance, financing costs, depreciation, and disposal costs, as well as environmental and social impact factors. Here are three key takeaways. One, equivalent annual cost, EAC, is the annual cost of owning, operating, and maintaining an asset over its entire life. Two, EAC is often used by firms for capital budgeting decisions, as it allows a company to compare the cost effectiveness of various assets that have unequal lifespans. 3. EAC allows managers to compare the net present values of different projects over different periods to accurately determine the best option. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.